Hi everyone. Uh, welcome to the demo for Splunk. Basically, uh, I'll be like giving uh, like I am like a Splunk. Uh, I am like uh, into Splunk, so I'll be like giving training to everyone whoever is interested in Splunk. So I'll be like giving demo and then uh, like training. So myself, like I'll start with my introduction. I am like Harshad Bashne. So I am be I have like around seven years of experience on Splunk in both admin and development part. Now, uh, I'll start with, uh, I'll start with like, uh, first of all, like what is basically Splunk? Okay. So basically like you, as you all know, like uh, these like uh, current scenario, it is of big data. Everyone, like everyone is working on like big data and big data is like every, uh, like data is, uh, data is like uh, a lot. Okay. So it is very difficult if you're, if you like, if you're going with traditional approach, like using Excel or using other tools, it is like very difficult because data isn't uh, like um, pen TV is pentabytes. Okay. So it will be difficult with other, uh, let's take example example of uh, MS Excel. If you go with MS Excel, it will be very difficult to analyze records where it is it exceeds like around 1 million or 2 million. So basically, we, uh, we have to look for another tool or another technology where you can go where you can analyze your data and you can create dashboard support alerts. So there are like a lot of two lot of tools in the markets, basically. Okay. One of them like is Splunk. So basically advantage of Splunk over other tools is like all tools, like uh, there are other tools as well, which are open source as well. But issue is like they have different components there. Everything is not at one place. You have to configure multiple things and then you have to do. But in, with Splunk, it is like you can do each and everything at a single place. Like you have to just ingest your data and then you have to start your data analysis. So Splunk is a big data tool, which is like basically used for dashboarding creating reports, alerts, and analysis. So it has two parts, basically front-end and other part is back-end. Front-end. Uh, uh, can I please share your screen? Uh, so it sure. Will be sure. Just give me a second, please. Just give me a second, I'm sharing. Can you guys see my screen, everyone? Yeah, yeah we can still see your screen. Okay, so basically, like uh, you can see, like this is uh, this is basically Splunk. I have opened Splunk. This is Splunk version nine o nine o one. 9.0.1 so i have opened this splunk version so basically like uh, in splunk we can create multiple dashboards we can create multiple alerts we can create everything okay like reports alerts dashboards where it is useful it is useful when you want to like like, like suppose your management asks you okay we want to see like uh like suppose uh uh, I'll tell you like current scenario. Okay. I'll tell you one current scenario. These days security is, uh, security is a big concern for all the organizations. Okay. Now, uh, top management wants to see how vulner vulner vulnerable is our organization from external attacks. Okay. So like they are using multiple firewalls. They are using multiple VPNs. Okay. They want to see how vulnerable is our uh, like organization for external threats how many external threats are uh, like coming to our environment like uh, hackers are doing uh, hackers are creating uh, like uh, attacking organization to access their data but they have they have employed vpn, uh, VPN and firewalls now they want to see 
what all things are going on so they can simply trust on splunk and what they can do they can simply uh, ask the team okay team can create dashboard supports alerts uh, data analysis like how many attacks occurred let's say they want to see okay how many attacks occurred uh, like at, uh, how many attacks were there in a for our organization within last one month okay they want to see this report so at uh, like developer splunk developer can easily create dashboard out of the data and they can like simply generate the report okay and they can send either they can send it to the upper management or upper management can open dashboard and they can see okay these are the number of attacks in last one month okay now they want to see uh, they want to see okay what is the uh, what is the uh, like actual attacks that occurred they can see that as well they can go into deep they can dig into deep drill down and then they can see okay these number of attacks were there now these are the number of attack uh, these are the individual attacks that occurred and how many times those attacks occurred so all these analysis you can do using splunk i'll give uh, another yes Asit, uh, can i please admit some people or people are waiting uh... okay sure Is everyone admitted now? Yeah, you can continue, Arsa. Okay. So what I was saying, like I'll give you one another example. Uh, you you guys must have heard <coughs> heard about like EA Games website, like EA Games. Like that is like popular, uh, popular uh, company uh, which are like creating and like which are responsible to create all the like uh, cricket, uh, like cricket games and like all the other uh, like games. Okay, but they are using Splunk on a very large basis. How they are using Splunk? I'll give you one small example. So basically, they are creating they are creating multiple softwares. Okay, they are creating multiple softwares. They are creating multiple games, and behind those games there are uh, lots of coding done. Okay. Now, when a software is run, suppose when you are executing a game, so they are testing. Okay. When when they are like uh, when they are executing the game, their uh, logs are generated and they are doing analysis on those logs. Like suppose a error is coming. Okay. So what they are doing, they are uh, analyzing that uh, log that error using uh, that error using Splunk log. They are simply doing query and they are like getting result. Okay. At what time error is coming and what type of error is coming? Now what that is doing. That is like uh, that is like reducing their lot of time to analyze where that error occurred. Okay, this is one example. Another example is uh, there are like lot of uh, medical companies that are using Splunk. Okay, medical companies. I'll take I'll I'll take one example. There is a medical uh, there is a healthcare company which is uh, which is creating. So there is a medical company, healthcare company, which is creating radiotherapy machines. Radiotherapy is used for cancer, uh, like cancer treatment. Okay. Now in that radiotherapy machine, uh, like that is a, like very big machines and whatever, uh, whatever operations are uh, occurring on that radiotherapy machines, each and everything is recorded over a log. Okay. Now there, uh, there is a hospital in India where that radiotherapy machine is located and the company is located in US, let's say. Okay, now that machine rate, that radiotherapy machine suddenly stops working. Okay, now what will happen? They have to send a service engineer. Service engineer will go to the site and then it will look into uh, the machine where that error, uh, like it will look into that machine part by part where this error occurred, what type of error occurred. He will do analysis and then he will say, okay, this error occurred. He will rectify that error and then he will uh, like uh, put that machine back. Now, if this process is done manually, it will take not only hours, it will take days because radio, uh, that machine is very big. There are a lot of components in, in that machine. He will see where that error occurred because he does not have any knowledge, like he does not have any proof where that error occurred. Okay. So it, uh, if, if it goes manual, it will take a lot of time. But with Splunk, 
what is the biggest advantage they will just see okay uh, they will just see what are the logs okay they will just uh, directly look into the log where that error occurred suppose uh, like a hospital uh, team says that uh, like machine is stopped working around 1 pm okay so they will like what what company will do what like a uh, service engineer will do they it will ask company that uh, like hospital has told that error occurred around 1 pm so company officials will tell developers okay that error occurred one uh, around 1 pm so what splunk developer will do it will it will show all the dashboards to uh, it will show all the dashboards and it will track see what error occurred in that machine around 2 pm around 1 pm okay like between let's say 12 to uh, 2 pm 12 to 2 pm it will see all the logs between 12 to 2 pm it will see all the logs and then it will see uh, they will see okay what error occurred and according to that error according to that error they will say okay this is the, this is the place this is the place where they will tell to service engineer this is the component which is uh, behaving uh, defective service engineer will go to that particular uh, part it will see what error it will see whether what error occurred and then it will like um, rectify that error and that that you know that is all automated okay it will suppose previously it was taking like around 24 hours now it will take around 2 to 3 hours max okay so this is the advantage of uh, like using splunk any questions you can ask me i'll like move forward then otherwise hello any questions or should i move forward hi uh, we had a great challenge uh, with uh, joining this meeting uh, there was no proper uh, link or something provided uh, had to wait for nearly 15 minutes to join a meeting uh, anyone from joy trust technology like uh... Uh, this session basically this session is recorded if you have any questions you can like uh, i'll provide the contact you can like contact that person uh, he can clear all your doubts hello Harshit, can you please mute them? Uh, sure, I'm muting them. And continue now. Sure. So basically, like uh, these were the examples of Splunk. But why Splunk is used? Uh, Splunk is used. So these are these are one of these are all the examples. Splunk is used like uh, it is used everywhere. Basically, okay. So uh, I'll start now. I'll start like like where it is. Splunk is used. Where it is used, and what are which companies are using them? I'll start with these things. Okay, now. Splunk is basically used by like it is uh, it is not used in India much, 
because it's a paid tool it is not used in india much but it is used by companies all over us uk and like i would say europe you us then africa lot of companies are using splunk there so it has like good market in india in india like you can see there are a lot of splunk job openings in like tcs wipro all the service based companies then there are like uh, like cognizant is there wipro is there they have like lot of advantages of splunk splunk is not limited to data analysis over data it is like used it is used in uh, artificial intelligence then machine learning splunk has like uh, splunk has some apps which are which are like dedicated to totally machine learning so splunk is used everywhere because you know for for like data science for data engineering uh, you know you should you should get data analyze data what is data so splunk can give you analyzed data then you can work over that sample set you can like suppose you are you are doing on uh, you are working on data science uh, data science okay now in data science you should get some data analysis like you should have some sample set okay there is a sample set and there uh, in that sample set uh, like you should know what uh, what things are going on okay you should see you cannot analyze whole data so you can analyze a sample sample of data and that you can do using splunk so it is very useful for uh, like future like for machine learning and as i told some companies are using to enhance their hardware their softwares using splunk so it is like used a lot i would say okay hello so uh, these are like uh, applications of splunk okay it's it is like i would say like in the near future like there are like uh, current and near there are lot of splunk openings and you can uh, you can like um, go into splunk that is like it will be really good learning for you guys and you will be like on advantage and like there are uh, companies are providing uh, good ctcs as well over uh, over you i would say other technologies like if you are in java development or if you are in like dot net there will be like uh, lesser uh, lesser money in uh, like instead of if you are in splunk there will be good money for you guys as well okay so splunk is having lot of good opportunities i would say there are i would name few clients few uh, like few companies which are using splunk okay i would say uh, like everyone has heard about apple apple is using splunk at a very big level then cisco cisco you must have heard about, heard about it is like uh, creating uh, fireballs vpn so splunk uh, cisco is using splunk then apple is using splunk then there are very uh, like big companies siemens then huawei they all are using splunk okay so splunk has a lot of uh, like very big market in us so and us companies are mostly uh, like do, uh, dealing in india only like tcs then wipro then uh, then uh, cognizant capgemini infosys they all have projects from us so uh, splunk's market is very big so if you if you guys take this course i think it will be beneficial for you in the near like in the future <coughs> any questions you can ask me yeah hi harshita i have a question okay this is mohammed irfan kazi okay sure. so there are uh, so many open source tools right kibana logs yes and there are so many tools are available open source mm -hmm. why i should uh, choose splunk okay so as i told in the beginning Splunk has everything at a single place. So basically, in Splunk, uh, in the backend, if I say there are two, uh, basically there are main three components: forwarder, search head, and uh, forwarder, search head, and uh, indexer. Okay. Now, if you if I go with ELK stack like Kivana log stash, there are four components. You have to configure each and every component, and then in the fourth component, you have to, you can do data analysis. If I am not wrong. okay but inside splunk the biggest advantage is you have to get data inside indexer okay you have to get data data inside other tools as well i'm uh, i'm not denying the fact 
uh, that uh, you have you need not get data you have to get data inside other tools as well but you know it is very tricky sometimes to get data inside other tools for example i'll take example of tableau tableau has one limitation it can only it can only uh, like uh, do we can only do data analysis on tableau on business data only and that is like structured data okay but inside splunk you can do data analysis on structured data you can do analysis on unstructured data and there is only one component main component indexer where you have to get data okay you have to get data inside uh, indexer and then you can do data analysis using search head that is the biggest advantage of splunk everything is at one place you need not write any code you need not do anything just you for splunk development you need to learn splunk processing language that is here you have to write all the queries okay and that is like very 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 much similar to sql i would say and for admin you need to know about like what is indexer what is search head what is forwarder how many types of forwarders are there you have to configure them you have to interconnect them and then you are good to go irfan i hope this answers your question yeah harshit uh, but indexing and all it is also present in kivan also right uh, we can do indexing we can visualize the data right what yes, is the you, error yeah yes you can visualize everything that's what i'm saying you can visualize everything but in kivana there are four components mm -hmm. you know there are four components you have to configure each and every component but in splunk there are basically like you know in is if you go if you uh, read read about splunk tool there are only two softwares basically one is splunk indexer like one is splunk enterprise and another another one is splunk forwarder okay splunk forwarder and splunk indexer now you have to get data using splunk forwarder into splunk indexer and you can you can do data and you can write queries on splunk indexer as well search head is nothing but is it is splunk enterprise only okay it's just like you are giving different name because you don't know because splunk indexer is the main processing unit okay so that's why you have to uh, you have to like uh, separate it uh, for the users who are doing data analysis you are who are writing all the queries so you have to separate out uh, Inter, you should have separate interface that's why search head is there but in log stash uh, like in kivana like elk stack there is like elastic like uh, uh, like log stash then kivana there are four uh, four things so it is like bit difficult yeah okay harshit uh, can you give us some example so that we will uh, understand for for splunk yeah for splunk yeah. okay i'll i i started in this uh, starting i'll i'll repeat again like i'll i'll give one small example so uh, you must have heard about radiotherapy machines okay radiotherapy machines are used for cancer treatment yeah so that they, i understood totally uh, i am asking uh, real time some real example you have this is, a splunk uh, console right in your desktop okay uh, okay yeah using that can you explain us what is the forwarder what is the indexer okay okay see yeah. see this is uh, this is splunk enterprise interface okay i'll not uh, i'll i'll not directly start with uh, forwarders or uh, search head and uh, anything okay this is splunk interface ui okay now this ui you can use it as a forwarder okay this ui you can use it as a forwarder you can use it as indexer you can use it as search head okay are you getting me irfan yeah yeah sure yeah okay now there are two types of forwarder basically one is splunk for universal forwarder that is lightweight tool okay that is you that is installed at uh, like you you can say client's place from uh, it is installed at client's place and from there you can get directly data from there uh, using splunk forwarder into then there is heavy forwarder heavy forwarder is nothing but this is splunk enterprise only you have to change few settings here on the back end and then you can use it as a splunk uh, for heavy forwarder okay this is this is the same you can use it as indexer this is the same you can use it as search head as well okay now i am writing few queries here see i am writing index equal to underscore internal now this is last 24 hours you will see some data here you are seeing some logs here 
so these are these locks are like basically these locks must be stored somewhere okay these are splunk's internal locks as i told every tool has its uh, whenever you are running any tool so it has like uh, it has like uh, uh, locks generated so this is splunk's internal locks now these locks must be generating somewhere at some place this is the source where these locks are generated c program files splunk val log splunk 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 d underscore ui underscore access dot log okay so these logs are generated and you can see these logs inside uh, when i am writing this query you can see these logs now this is i can you uh, since i am like use i am the alone user so i am using it as an indexer as a search head but when you are going into corporate corporate has like data in tb is pentabytes okay there it is impossible to give access to indexer to everyone so that's why like search head is there search head is uh, a separate machine separate uh, you can say instance hard it will it is a machine separate machine on which splunk is used splunk is installed it is connected to the machine where splunk indexer is there and then through rest apis these two softwares will uh, communicate and you will get the data on your search head irfan this is is it clear to you now yeah i said i'm clear yeah okay anyone else hello uh can you please speak a little louder your voice is not clear anybody can 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 speak or can you can can try out with your verb hello your voice is not clear can you please repeat again like uh, uh, are you angry that anybody can try it out with verb with the bot scanner hello Uh, ask him to type it in the yeah. uh, chat. Uh, if you are not able to hear, that will be uh, fair, fair and good. Yeah, please. Because if he's having some audio issues, uh, ask him to put a chat message. Yeah, please send it into chat, please, Kalim, and I'll answer your question. This Plunk uh, software is it uh, something which is running on a server? So yes. So yes. So basically, I have installed Splunk here, and it is like uh, it is like UI based. So basically, you have to use uh, you have to use uh, inside Splunk. Like, I, see, I have installed. I'll show you uh, the place where I have installed this Splunk. Okay. Okay. Uh, On a corporate level, what is the requirement for the servers to install a Splunk? basically depends okay it depends minimum minimum like you have to uh, minimum uh, you have to uh, you have to like in a system or server if you are using you have to be like 4 gb ram then it can be it can be either unix it can be linux uh, it can be uh, windows uh, or it can be apple as well like macintosh you can install splunk on all these three on uh, like all these three interfaces and then after that splunk is installed there are few services that will run like splunk d i'll show you these those services as well okay, okay. splunk d splunk d uh, so basically when those services are run after that only you will be able to see this splunk interface live in 3 okay and and also like say if you have a monitoring tool and from that monitoring tool you are uh, sending all the logs to the towards the splunk mm -hmm. so in the monitoring tool what is that you will install uh, you will install any splunk instance or something like that so you have to install splunk on that machine server you have to install splunk on that server where that monitoring tool is present oh, like okay. splunk for better okay. Okay. okay otherwise otherwise there are few other methods as well you can send that those logs using syslog or like using tcp or http uh, like on uh, using tcp or ftp you can send those logs to uh, directly into splunk that is through http event collector that is called okay or you can send those logs to one machine using uh, syslog and then from there you can collect those logs inside splunk okay. okay so there are multiple methods now sudhir uh, which type of language we can use in splunk so splunk has a, lang a specific language called spl that is called splunk processing language this is similar to uh, like this is very much similar to sql 
okay like in sql you will do joins you will you will use group by conditions similarly in splunk you you will use all these things like joins then append then you will use eval statements you will use transactions transactions means to group similar type of logs so all these things you will use in splunk any more question okay uh, I, uh my name is leslie i'm joining this for the first time okay uh this software like splunk mm -hmm. uh, what exactly it's been uh used for like uh, you said there's a search engine and for machine learning uh, ai it's been used yes. so what purpose do they exactly use this software for okay so basically uh, basically main aim of this software is uh, like it is uh, like created for data analysis basically i will say okay everything you are seeing this is your raw data okay this is your raw data you cannot understand anything using this data but if you are like if you are like uh, yeah. processing uh, see raw data raw process uh, raw process raw data is called information so from data you have to fetch inform some information out of the raw data so with splunk you are doing that part only with uh, using uh, you are getting raw data inside splunk you are breaking there you are like breaking that data into multiple fields and then using those fields you are writing your queries and you are creating your dashboards and reports or alerts and you are like doing data analysis So basically, you're saying it's only used uh, for data analysis, correct? Yes, yes. Basically, it is used for data analysis, and like data can be it, it can be used for like a lot of applications. We can create multiple visualizations, flowcharts as well. That is like there are uh, there are with in Splunk there are uh, like other tools like Splunk HC, okay? That is used to create flowcharts like diagrams. And then there is a Splunk Enterprise Security app. That app, app is, uh, is like dedicated to Splunk, uh, like security, security things. So when you say security, right? So like uh, you mean to say, uh, kind of a uh, for corporate, they use that uh, uh, for virus and yes, uh, stuff for like that yes for your exactly. data not to get corrupted exactly okay. security like uh, say, see it is mostly used it is uh, uh, like there are companies lnt okay lnt then uh, right now uh, Ernst and young in Ernst and young uh, e and y this this is a like uh, audit company basically financial uh, it is giving financial services it is using splunk at a big level uh, for cyber security then deloitte it is also using splunk for cyber security uh, in a lot So, which of the companies are using this uh, apart from this Deloitte and um, you said uh, TCS? You mentioned no, right? TCS is so, you know TCS is a service-based company. It is based out of India, and it is like taking projects from US, UK, all over the world, and then uh, people are working on their on those projects. The product-based companies which are using Splunk, I would I would name a few of them like Apple. Apple is using Splunk okay then uh wells fargo this is a bank based out of us it is using splunk okay then uh in us there is a company called varian medical machines varian, varian medical systems that is like uh as i told you it is uh it is like uh it is using splunk okay then if i take uh big companies there are a lot of companies like which are using splunk city bank based out again be like us bank it is using splunk okay mm -hmm. then deloitte e and okay. these companies are there there are a lot of companies which are using splunk do we have uh, these uh, support centers in india for this uh, uh, splunk like yes, there uh, need support mm -hmm. which uh, like uh, what type of support centers like in the sense if there's any technical issues outages we call them right okay okay so yeah we have Sp any yes splunk has a big support team it is present everywhere in us in india they are present everywhere so if any issue is there they have a big team okay i'm asking specifically in india like do we have them see they have Which like this 
see splunk see if you are having any outage in splunk so basically splunk has like uh, see i'll tell you how splunk can be used okay like before answering this question i'll tell you how splunk can be used splunk can be used on prem on prem means uh, like on prem means you can install everything in your own hardware like company's managed hardware it can be aws or it can be anything that that will belong to the company for which uh, which is using splunk okay that is called on prem second is splunk cloud so now most uh, multiple companies what they are doing they are like sending all the data all the like all the uh, like they are like uh, installing everything they are sending data to splunk directly so splunk is managing everything and you just like they are managing indexes they are managing search chats you just have to like if, if you are if you are a splunk developer you will be given access to splunk search chat you can do data analysis there if you are an admin ui so uh, if you are a splunk admin person so what they will do they will give you access to something you have to just check okay you have to send data to that interface and they will manage everything okay so these two types of splunk are there if you are talking about splunk on prem yes that you have to that company has to maintain if there is any outage company has to look why there is outage by splunk is down if it is uh, if it is uh, splunk uh, it is it is uh, like a splunk cloud then yes splunk you have to raise splunk support ticket splunk support person will be there who will like uh, help you to overcome this so uh, i understand on prem uh, there will be some support people within the company i'm talking about what about the cloud you you're saying on cloud you will not have any outages no no Spl cloud uh, splunk cloud will be managed itself by splunk splunk company i'm saying this thing okay see splunk is a tool there if you see its its website this is splunk's website from here you can uh, you can like uh, take uh, like you can download splunk using this site okay and you can uh, you can install it and uh, you can see this interface okay this is splunk on prem but is for splunk cloud you will be receiving a dedicated link okay and that will be hosted on splunk's website on like splunk server only the server ma like managed by splunk company so there's giving free trial how many days is the free trial to begin it, six, 60 days 60 days yes. after 60 days will there be any charges if you want to discontinue or see basically uh, see basically i'll tell you what is like what is behind this so basically you have to purchase free license okay okay you have to purchase free license for this free license is like so in splunk license is like you have, how much data you are ingesting per day license is based out of that so free like in free license you can like uh, you can like get uh, 500 mb of data daily okay after that it will give you warnings and after some time splunk will automatically uh, like disable everything you have to raise support ticket and you have to ask them to uh, again start now if you are like after license is expired you can index your data till 500 mb okay there will be few functionalities you will not be able to uh, you will not be able to uh, like use like suppose i am i am writing index equal to underscore internal i am getting everything okay now if i am if i write anything let's say index equal to hashat for example now this is index other than index equal to underscore internal you will uh, okay i'll write index equal to star instead, instead of this because my license is expired okay i'll write index what equal to star programming language you are writing there yes yes this is spl okay so basically when okay. i am writing this it is saying error in let search command your splunk license has expired or you have exceeded your license limit too many times renew your splunk license by visiting this okay since my license is expired so i will is accept index equal to underscore internal that is splunk's internal logs i will not be able to write any other query okay, okay. yeah this is the limitation. Any so more how, questions? Mm -hmm. How long is this session? And today, like, what what is that we will be covering, like, on this plank? So, do we have another part also on this another uh, session? No, see, I have told you about development part. In development part, you have to write all the queries. Okay, okay. you have to write. You will write all the SPL queries here. 
okay here you will write all your spl queries then there is like admin part and admin part like i as i told you there are uh, like in backend there are like your components or the splunk components like search heads forwarders indexers okay so you have to configure them you have to get data through them and then you have to do data analysis using splunk search head like you will write all the spl queries here okay so so how long is this session today uh i think it is for 45 minutes okay so another doubt here you have yes. this apps on top right mm -hmm. uh, next to the so what does that mean like uh, you can create uh, you have so many apps right so yes. uh, yeah from how does it uh, what is the purpose of it okay so basically the purpose of apps is like so you are getting uh, see as i told you splunk is used for data analysis mainly okay so now data can be from anywhere it can be from a machine it can be from machine data it can be from like suppose uh, it can be from vpn it can be from firewall it can be from anywhere okay now you are like suppose you have a big team uh, working uh, that is using splunk okay now you have only one app basically this is default app search and reporting if you are putting everything there such let's say in search reporting app you are putting everything now what will happen everyone have will have access to each and every dashboard you uh, everything will be at one place so to differentiate between them you have different apps like let's say there is a app for dedicated app for aws basically amazon web services using that app you can basically get AWS data inside Splunk using that app. You can integrate Splunk with AWS, and you can uh, you can uh, see all the dashboards related to AWS only there. So suppose if you want to give access to AWS to someone, you can only give access to AWS. You he will he or she will not be able to see other uh, whatever other dashboards are created in other apps. He will he or she will not be able to see those dashboards. Okay. Okay. So since apps and dashboards are almost similar. No, no, no. App is you can say app is a ui basically okay okay app is a component and dashboards are like something knowledge objects okay okay, okay. Got it. any other question guys Uh, hello hi i'm yamuna uh, i have a question like uh, like how can you explain in detail like how splunk will be helpful in cyber security okay so basically uh, in cyber security there are like uh, there are a lot of use cases these days present like there are uh, there are a lot of attacks in uh, organizations okay there are a lot of hackers present which are trying to access your access organizations internal data so for that they have employed let's say vpns they have employed firewalls they are employed they are employing a lot of technologies okay and there are a lot of like there you can see these days there are a lot of like vulnerabilities threats which are like coming so uh, in uh, cyber security using all the like you can do data analysis on all those things those things will be like uh, pre built by these things these are pre built by dashboards you just need to get data in particular format and then you can do data analysis like that will be uh, like automatic uh, you mean like these uh, trunk needs to be installed like monitored on the all the routers and switches no 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 all the you all the you can send all the data from routers switches firewalls vpns to splunk and then you can do data analysis on splunk okay yeah thank you so much thank you so will we be having any other sessions like writing the code and all those things for creating dashboards or anything like that so will there be any other session on that uh i think uh, i'll give you contact of amit okay you can ask these questions to him amit from uh, uh, joy trust technology he will answer all these questions okay okay i'll i'm giving i'm sending the contact to you okay uh is the chat
okay uh you uh, do you guys want to see the course content here hello hello uh yeah okay just give me a second i'll like uh, show you share the course content here okay just give me a second please Hello, uh, Amit uh, from Joytris Technology. He will be sharing the course content with you, with everyone. Okay, so I think you can, uh, like he'll be sharing course con content with everyone. You can like talk to him uh, and for any queries, we can have like uh, maybe another 15 minute session for that later. Okay, ask Amit to put a right phone number in the LinkedIn. He has put in a wrong phone number. For any queries, we were not able to call this number because when we had challenge joining the num uh, meeting. Okay, okay. Uh, I have like I have, nine number. We okay. I have I have sent his number in chat. You can like uh, you can check. Yeah, yeah I've seen that. Uh, that uh, double six instead of double six, he has mentioned only one six in LinkedIn. Uh, people would have had challenges calling his number. So please inform him to put in a right phone number. Sure, sure. Okay. In sure. LinkedIn. Okay. That's sure. the feedback from me. Thank you. Sure. Sure. Thank you. Okay. I think we can end this session now. Thank you, everyone. Have a good day, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.